Hello everyone, it's Susan Hill and today is March 29th, 2020. And it's been an interesting ride. I can really say that, you know, for sure our lives have been turned upside down and I know um, there's been a tremendous amount of chaos and fear and anxiety. And I have myself suffered. I'm along with you on this ride, on this journey of trying to navigate these, this craziness. And I was really focused. I have to be honest now. I'm going to be real and authentic with you guys. I was focused on the control agenda. And I'm really secure in my health. Got to be honest. I've been doing a lot of research. And I have really been amping up my immune system the last two years. And so I know I'm going to be fine. And... But the whole agenda for control has really set me out of my mind. <laughs> and yeah, I was so focused on it. And I just put so much fear um, into my, and anxiety into my, my mind. And I went on social media and it was fueled. It was completely fueled with like gasoline. So I was lucky enough to have some resources um, Reverend Michael Beckwith and Panash Desai, and I was able to come back to center. And they did these really cool meditations, which brought you um, with eyes closed out of your body and into the stratosphere and, 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 and witnessing the earth and knowing that we're all one. One thing for sure is this virus has um, affected us, the entire earth. So we all know that we're united we're not separate the, the virus doesn't stop at any borders it just goes right through so for one thing for sure positive is that we can come out of this thing knowing that we're united uh, earthlings right so that's one really positive thing uh, another thing is that um, you know we have to be careful on what we focus on for sure and so I wanted you know I've got this the course that I'm taking now it's called the physics of prayer with Agape International uh, University and it's an online program, and reading The Science of Mind by Ernest Holmes. And you can see it's very well used. I've read it many times. It's all falling apart. So let me read this to you really quickly. So we're talking about treatment, which is the way to approach um, affirmative prayer. They call it treatment. They Agape calls it affirmative prayer. And it, all it is is just using your mind um, and your, the feeling tone of your body to direct um, your thought because whatever we think and whatever we speak into a, um, in, 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 out into the universe manifests. It's, it's a, a law. So this is very interesting. I'd like you to hear this. So in treatment, Ernest Holmes says, we turn entirely away from the condition because as long as we look at it, we cannot overcome it. And that's what I was doing. I was looking at the condition and it was getting bigger and uglier. By thinking upon a condition, he further states, we tend to animate it with the life of our thought and thereby it is perpetuated and magnified. Well, isn't that true? Because I was experiencing that. Treatment is the science of inducing within mind concepts, acceptances and realizations of peace, poise, power, plenty, health, happiness, and success or whatever the particular need is. So in, in other words, we're turning away from the condition, placing our awareness and the feeling tone of our being onto what it is we really want, which would be peace. In this instance, it would be peace for me. Um, treatment is not willing, not willing with the mind things to happen. It is to provide within ourselves an avenue through which they may happen. So that's gonna come through us is what he's saying. Treatment opens up the avenues of thought, expands the consciousness, and lets reality through. It clarifies the mentality. We're purifying our thought, removes the obstruction of thought, and lets in the light. So we're opening and surrendering to all that is, which is good. It's not, it's not bad things. It's not the seeming of evil. It's really good. Um, it removes doubt and fear and the realization of the presence of spirit and it is necessary while we are confronted by obstacles or obstructions. So true. We already live in a perfect universe, but it needs to be seen mentally before it can become part of our experience. So we must experience it within our thought first. 
Uh, every problem is primarily mental. And the answer to all problems will, will be found in spiritual realization. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. I wanted to share that with you. And so what can we do? Well, we got to focus on what we can do in this day. So it's not dwelling on what we should have done. Geez, I should have stocked up my pantry. And now I go to the store and can't buy food that I need. And now we're in a panic. All right, let's just forget about that. Let's not project into the future what's going to happen, what could happen, because there's nothing we can do to control that. All we can do is be in the present moment, right here and right now. And that means focusing our mind um, on things that we can control. So what can I do for my, my physical well-being, my family's well-being? I can get nutritious foods. You know, I, I find that there's plenty of produce still in, in the grocery stores. People are not, for the most part, buying it all. Um, and if you're just smart and you get there early enough, or it's different times when most people shop, you can still get it. If you're in quarantine, I, I don't know how to help you, but I know that you can probably order things and they will deliver it to you. I want to say something about the quarantine and that at least where I live in Connecticut, we're being asked to stay home. We're not being forced to stay home. And of course, that's a, a violation of our constitutional rights. Um, I know that in times of martial law, that is suspended, and I hope it doesn't come to that. But it looks like, according to Astrology King, mind you, um, that it, it could turn into something like that with greater restrictions about what we can do. So before... Um, April 7th, I believe on the 6th, which is about a week away, I would definitely stock up a couple of weeks worth of food just to be on the safe side. And, um, you know, you're going to be okay. You're going to get through this. So we're, we're, we, as long as your immune system is okay, you're, you're probably going to get through this. As far as my research um, uh, tells me, based on real science, not, not fake science, is that um, the people who are have died from the COVID-19 are people that are, were already sick. They already had like cancer or kidney disease or, you know, some heart disease, serious things going on. So it was like the final straw that broke the camel's back. If you're a relatively healthy person, of course, be careful. Wash your hands. Um, avoid touching your face when you're out in public, wear gloves and, and that will definitely help because you won't touch your face when you wear the gloves. Um, I want to say that um, there is something else that you can do and I want to invite you because on April 4th, there is an event going on and it's of course online. It's a worldwide event where we're calling meditators, people who are active meditators. And even if you don't know how to meditate, you can learn. Now, why, what, what's the big deal about meditation? Why would we want to do that? Well, there have been many, many uh, studies done on like groups of meditators. And when they do the meditation, it actually stops things from happening that are like violent um, or um, it stops like war from going on. It stops like the, um, terrible things from happening. So because what it does is it creates a field. What we would be doing is when we all meditate together, we will be create a field of peace. And when we're in a peaceful state, we are elevating our awareness, our consciousness and our vibrational field, our frequencies so that we're hovering above problems. When we can uplift the field together, we will uplift humanity. And they're calling for 1 million meditators. That's a lot of people. I believe we can do it. Um, we have people in every country that are signing up for this. And I'm gonna post a link below um, this video so you can access that and, and sign up. I want you to read the entire page so that you can fully understand what it is you're gonna be doing. And I want you to print it out and I want you to um, write it down in a prominent place so that you won't forget because um, this timing of this event is not just some random day. It is actually a window into the um, consciousness of the galaxy that will usher in a positive stream of light, uh, healing frequency for the planet Earth. And we need that right now. And even if you think that this is a bunch of baloney, 
just do it anyway. We need people to join together and uplift humanity. There are a lot of agendas right now, and this is what I was all in a tizzy about. But these agendas are for total control over humanity. And we need to break free of this enslavement. It's been going on way too long. We need to divvy up the wealth so that everybody has access to it, so that we all can be happy and free and you know, fill up our grocery carts with beautiful, fresh, delicious foods and be able to go on vacation and drive nice cars and have a beautiful home and be able to send our children to good colleges and have a savings account. And this should be, and, and good health care. This is not something that only, you know, the 1% should be able to do. Or, I mean, we should have this for everybody. And so let's finally, once and for all, break free of the bondage that's been enslaving um, the vast majority of people on planet Earth. And this is our time. We've got to do this. And I want to encourage you to sign up. The link is posted below. Um, I want to hear from you guys. What, what do you want to hear about? What do you want to talk about? Um, oh, final recommendations for what you can do. Um, again, to amp up your immune system is vitamin C, especially the liposomal vitamin C for your immune system. Reishi mushroom, coated silver, um, and iodine, really. Those are the, the top ones. I think they're recommending zinc. Um, is very good, and um, elderberry is also very good. So if you have all of that in your um, tool belt, your toolkit, you'll you'll be in good shape. Remember to stay hydrated with very good clean water that's not stored in plastic. And um, I would say try to get as much rest as you can. Say loving, gentle, kind things to yourself, and we're going to get through this. It's predicted to run through the end of May. And um, after that, we should be pretty good. And the virus is supposed to just disappear just as mysteriously as it came in, according to Sylvia Brown. I don't know. That's Some people are very good at predicting things, and she is one of those people. Um, I just want to pray for all of you and say thank you for watching, and um, I will see you soon. Stay positive, stay upright, and know that you will be okay. All right. Peace.